All right, guys, how's it going? Someone in comments asked me how to build a Rotos, so we're gonna go ahead and do that today. So this is my Rotos right here. We already took the gear off of him. He's fully awakened and with Ward to Fallen. So this is the masteries I run. If you can get 100% crit rate without, if you get 105% crit rate in the builds, you wanna go with attack. If not, you're just gonna go with crit rate. I also like Psycho Revenge, since uh, you usually run your nuke your Rotos a little bit faster. When he's when your support champions are getting hit, it will actually boost his turn meter so he can start killing people. And right here, I typically go with Improved Parry, since this does eight percent uh, for critical hits instead of just a five percent for AOE damage. Because I see a lot of people for Masteries will just go around this route right here. So I go over there. All right, let's bring up Hell Hades. Let's get him built. And then we'll go over blessings and all that fun stuff. So for Rotos, if you're using the optimizer, you typically want to go to battle, put on champion target level. I usually do about 4,200 to 4,500 defense. We'll do 4,500 for now. 100,000 K HP. So this is something that's really important with Rotos. Since Rotos damage is built by attack and HP, if we run just battle and just do it straight through, it's gonna balance those two. But say you're gonna run them with a Duchess or an Arbiter or any sort of attack up, it's, you wanna make sure you're adding attack up into buffs. That way it takes that into account. So like I said at the beginning, I typically like to run him a bit faster. I usually say about 220 speed minimum. I Sometimes I run up at about 290 speed. So today, let's just say 220. Mm, 225. So we're to battle. The best sets for Rodos, by the way, are gonna be either Savage or lethal or instinct instinct is nice because we still ignore 20 percent of the defense and we get that increased speed because we want rotos to go a little fast we do have the new damage set zeal zeal would not be that great on rotos in general because we need to ignore defense his multipliers are actually not that great you see right here 2.1 attack 0 0.9 for uh, hp 0, 19 all right, so let's go to battle. Damage, you just do highest overall. And then we'll just go ahead and run it. Let's see what we get. This is KHP, 6,000 attack. Now, we when you build Rodos, we do want him pretty tanky. Don't forget about his defense. So let's see what we got here. This is actually my build. So uh, the reason why I don't do cruel is because I lose a lot of speed right here. But let's say we do lethal cruel, which is more ideal of a build. Let's see what I can pull off without stealing from all my other champions. That's the real, the real trick. It's quite a bit of a loss. See, stats, skills. So that's why I'm personally not running Cruel right now, but Cruel is better. So we're going to throw this on him. Another trick to do is for Rotos right here on the banners and the rings we typically want to go with hp over attack so since i say i didn't already have this build prepared because it's usually on there i would go on here in the rings and first just check it just like this and just turn off attack and try to get just hp and then i'll compare the two it's going to be the same thing now so let's go ahead and throw that on 
Another thing to keep in mind when you're doing Roto's uh, builds is every 1,100 or 11,000 uh, HP equals 1,000 attack. All right, let's see. Lethal. And I'll do another build here shortly that we'll post probably afterwards. HP percent with attack percentage, this is great. With uh, a, we'll say a weaker Rotos. See attack, attack, we get all that speed. The other thing I do for plat a lot, because I like to use Rotos in my defense pretty often is I will continuously change his build. I run him between 220 to 280 speed. I just randomly change it. <clears throat> as far as accessories go, I really like Revenge. I think the best accessory you can have on him, I just don't have one, would be a refresh accessory. That way you can use his A3, kill someone, proc it extra turn, get a refresh, do another A3, get another extra turn, and then kill somebody. So three people are dead immediately. So that is my holy grail I'm looking for right now. There's this banner. Triple HP. Yeah. And let's go over blessings real quick. So remember for Word of Fallen, With the bone armor, that's 30% uh, less damage per bone armor. He's gonna have three stacks of that. That's way less damage. So uh, anything buff five star, I prefer Ward of Fallen. That way he can take more less damage and then he has the skeletons that run out and kill people. Especially when you have a Rotos versus a Rotos. If he A1's me and I A1 him back, I also have the skeletons if I have any dead allies to try to take him down. I win a lot of fights that way under five star if we're going to use them for offense only you would go with soul reap under five star or if you're using for defense and you're like protecting with a necrit i would be going either lightning cage so we can protect get them to protect uh all the buffs if you're not running with siffy or phantom touch is really good as well because he does bonus damage inflicted by his attack. But if you're gonna go with uh, Phantom Touch or Word of Fallen, all the damage is done by attack, so you wanna make sure you're really paying attention that you're giving them enough attack to do any damage. All right, so now we saw the build. Let's go in the arena, we'll do a couple fights, show them off. That should be Go against this guy. I was playing off Eric's earlier. Let's throw a team together. Let's do Yumiko. Duchess. Total free to play team. And that should do it. Let's see if we go first. We might not. No, we're not going first. So that's kind of what I wanted because I wanted to show you if the benefit of using Rotus in like live arena, for example, is if you get locked out, it's not the end of the world. He'll get back to his abilities really quick since the A2 is only on a two turn cooldown and we can get those extra turns. So let's go ahead and drop the turn meter a little bit over here. So I'm trying to kill this warlord that way he doesn't relock us out. Let's see if we got this back. So we'll kill Arbiter first. And then we'll kill Warlord. Now we got the A3, dead. Of 
course, he's going to get an extra turn. There's the skeletons I was talking about. 8,000 damage. 8,400. Let's revive just... Why not? Let's see. What's another one? I also like to use them against Samari Taurus teams. Let's do a refresh. We'll do the same thing right here. More two is just not a big deal anymore, especially if you use single targeted damage dealers. All you gotta do is just not hit more two. So I like bringing Rotos in for that. So every time we hit Taurus, we're gonna lower our, lower our attack. So we're just gonna kill her first and then we'll gain some HP. Remember, uh, once Rotos gets enough enough HP, he will start block reviving. And it's usually about, if you have a strong Rotos, it's about three hits, three A2s. Let's see. Tarzan will have any more damage left. Now we're just kind of stuck waiting. She's locked out, so it doesn't even matter. She can't do anything. Protect her for zero reason. If I have no one protect, I always protect Duchess. Let's see if we can kill for A1. Extra turn, A3. I always try to get that extra turn in. All right, I would show off live arena, but we just we can't do it right now. Another spot I like to use Rodos a lot is... Use him in Magma Dragon. I'm not using him right now. And uh, Griffin, but Griffin's not here right now. Uh, awesome, guys. Let's do some dailies. So Rotos with Necro is really good. Uh, if you're ever up against a Rotos, the best way to counter him is a some type of multi-hitter. Rhonda works really well since she has Norse Shield, so... She can kill Rotos through uh, through Necrit passive. Another champion that works really good versus Rotos would be just like Ronda. Not Road. Where's he at? There he is. Basilius Roanus. Roanus. <clears throat> Ignores defense, shield buffs, and block damage buffs as well as 50% targets defense. And he's positive affinity. He can pretty much always kill Rotos through a Necrit protection. So you ought to be careful with them. But yeah, I guess that's it, guys. Thank you for coming by. Make sure to like and subscribe. And if you have any more builds you'd like to see, just leave them in the comments and we'll record it. Awesome. Thank you.